So Liam, uh, yeah, we're over a quarter way through the season now, top of the league. What are your thoughts on the start? It's been been pretty amazing to be fair, hasn't it? Yeah, um, I think that it's, it's took everyone a bit by surprise. I mean, at the start of the season, the lads had it in, obviously had it in mind and had the, that's where they wanted to be. But for us to go on the run we've been on lately, it's, it's, I think it's a bit of a surprise for everyone. But amongst us, we know um, the lads. Um, well, they are, all of the squad's good enough to be where we are, so I think we deserve it in, in the day from the teams we've played, especially. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> yourself, personally, um, you're one of the newer lads in the squad. How have you, how have you settled in? Um, I, I think it took me um, a, couple of, a, cu a couple of games to settle in, thing, but I think I'm starting to get there now. I haven't been overly... Um, well, I'm not chuffed about my performances so far. I haven't been at the standard I want them to be at, but I think I'm getting there. Um, but it takes games when you come to a new place, and hopefully uh, a few more games under my belt, and I'll be uh, right up there. Absolutely, you're starting to bag a few goals as well, aren't you? You're nifty with your header. Headers well, again. well, yeah. <laughs> so, to be fair, I've not known from a heading, so it's been a been a bonus really scoring that header, and I've had a couple of chances really. I should have scored it. Um, at Gloucester, um, there I should have scored there, and then I had another chance at home. I can't remember what it was against now. It just went wide, and so it's, I'm getting the positions, which is always good. I just got to mm -hmm. um, concentrate on putting them away and add a few goals. Mm -hmm. And obviously, in terms of the teams that we have played, you look at the league table at the minute, and um, I think we've won one and drawn one against two of the teams elsewhere in the top six. A lot of the teams we played are at the other end of the table, so to speak, but. How vital is it now, obviously, to keep that run going? I guess when, when we start playing those teams in and around the top six or seven. Oh yeah, looking at the fixtures around like Christmas time and just after Christmas is there's a real um, tough games to be fair. We have got Barrow over Christmas period. We have got I think Guysley around there as well. North Ferriby, they're, they're going to be tough games, and hopefully we're all pulling in the same direction then and and put a, well to carry on the run we're doing now. Um, I know. At the end of the day in this league, you've seen you've seen it how we went down and beat Oxford 7-1 and then they went and beat, uh, I can't remember who it was, the next game 5 something. So people beat everybody from the top to the bottom in this league, it's, it's mad. So just got to look at it, take each game as it comes and hopefully carry on the win when we're on. Absolutely, and obviously last time we spoke it was just before the Lowestoft game. It was a, what you'd call a little bit of a lull in the, in the season for us with the, those two defeats. But since then we haven't looked back, have we? No, not at all. Like I say, I was... Um, well, we lost two on the bounce, didn't we? And I think that was a kind of after winning the first game of the season to then lose to them from a, such a high, it went to sign such a low. You hit back to reality a bit, but then mm -hmm. to go on the run we've gone on now, and I, can't, I don't know how many games it is we're unbeaten, but it's it's a great run and hopefully it continues. I think it's tw twelve or thirteen in our competitions. Obviously, we've got the FA Cup that are still involved. Yeah, in. <laughs> Kings Lane on Saturday. How do you see that one going? Um, well, I obviously haven't. I've never played them before, but um, speaking to a couple of lads in that, uh, there's had a few tough games against them last season. So it'll be a tough game, one that we're not going to take take lightly and not take for granted. It's a, it's a massive game for them. We want we want to be in that first round because uh, th there could be a big draw in there for us. So it's always something you want to you want to play in front of a big crowd and get a big club, and hopefully we can carry on the run. Absolutely, like you say, it's a massive prize in, at stake for. For a one-off game, which effectively a one-off game, isn't it? What's, what's your experiences in the FA Cup in your career? Um, I made well. I made my debut for Blackpool in the FA Cup against um, Southampton. Uh, in that, well, I think that was the third round or whatever they come they come into it at. Um, and apart from that, really, that's about it. To be honest with you, I was at High last season. I think we got knocked out in the first qualifier. And, um, so apart from that, that's, a, that's a, this is probably the the first one I'm kind of involved in and. Hopefully we can get into this first round and maybe even go further, who knows? Who knows, exactly. And then obviously, you mentioned obviously the fixtures that are coming up over the Christmas period. It's important to keep the run going. What's the mood like in the dressing room at the moment with the lads? It's, oh, the it, lads must be, it must be pretty electric at the minute. Yeah, the lads are buzzing, I think. Um, like I say, I don't think anyone expected we'd go on such a run as we have. But um, like I say, the, the, the squad's more than good enough to be where we are. I think we des fully deserve it, to be honest with you. So... I think the the moods are obviously we're going to be confident. And I think we can take that on 
Well, we do take that on in every game we play, no, thinking we can win. I'm not, not saying we're going to go into it knowing we're going to win, because you, you never do. You always go into the game, take games as it comes, but I think the lads are absolutely buzzing the confidence sky high. Well, that, thanks a lot, Liam. Good, good luck on Saturday and well done on your start to, to your foul career so far. Cheers, mate.